All right, welcome, welcome to In the Kitchen with Randy. Today we're working on some tenderloin. We've got this nice little beef tenderloin. We're going to trim it up. We're going to cut it to a few uh, filet mignon, and we may do something else with it. Who knows? So let's get started. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off this bit of fat that we have here. We're just going to trim it up just a little bit. We want to try not to take too much of the meat away. You can come in here and just trim this up nicely. We're going to look for any silver skin that we have. We're going to take that off too. You see we have a little bit along here, so we're just going to carefully get under that. Pull it up with our fingers, slow and easy, and just let our knife take that right on off. So we're going to get right underneath of there, and we're just going to cut that off. And again, we don't want to take any more meat than we have to. Just going to clean that all up. You can see one thing that's really important is keep your knife good and sharp. It just makes life a whole lot easier. Saves a lot of waste. It's a little bit of a tedious job here, but it'll be well worth getting all this off. So we'll have nice, really nice tender filet mignons. You won't have any of that tough silver skin to bite through. It'll make your presentation look a lot nicer when we're all done. And I just have a little bowl over here I'm just throwing all my little scraps into. Not much we can do with this stuff. Just clean this all up. And you can be as picky as you want. You can leave a little bit on there. It's not going to really hurt much. But we don't want to leave a lot of it on. So we're going to get more of this off here. Now on your beef tenderloin, this part up here is called the head. And this is the tail down here. You've heard of that great cut of meat called the Chateau Briand. This is where they get it from right here. Give it a little bit more of this fat along here. We don't really need those chunks of fat in this particular piece of meat because it's relatively marbled all the way through. And this piece of meat is so tender that it almost chews itself. So the way we are going to do this today is we are going to go ahead and we're going to make a Chateaubriand and then we're going to make some uh, filet mignons out of here. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to cut this head off. Come right straight through there. With that nice beautiful piece of meat there. You see it's actually two, it's almost two muscles here. So you split that right down there if you want. And you can actually make that into filets. But we're going to go ahead and make this into a Chateau Briand. So we're just going to square this up a little bit. We'll save this for some grinding. And I'm going to do a little bit of tying here. This way to hold its shape when we, when we cook it. So we're just going to bring that over. And we're just going to bring that around a couple different times, you see? Wrap it around twice, then I'm going to pull it tight. And that's going to hold it in place for us. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pull that in tight. I'm going to tie that off. Now we have a beautiful Chateaubriand. 
that's going to be delicious. All right, so now we're going to do just a little bit more trimming here. I see a little more fat on here. I'm going to take off. And then we're going to cut this into some, fo some uh, filet mignons. We get down toward the tail, they get a little bit small, so we have a little bit of a trick we'll do on those. So we'll start, take these and we're going to cut these at about inch and a half to two inches. Trim up that meat again. We're going to save all this. We'll use it for some grind. We're not going to let this meat go to waste here. Okay, now our steaks are going to get a little bit small down at this end. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this one, last one off here. And we're going to take this one, we're going to trim off this excess fat, a little bit of gristle kind of stuff here, and the silver skin, we don't want that in there. But what we're going to do is just kind of halfway cut that through. And what I'm going to do is just kind of bend this over. We're going to make this into a little bit of a, a filet mignon by itself. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to take a piece of string. Let's see what we're going to do first. We're going to take it and, and shape that. Take a piece of bacon. Take a good quality bacon, one that you like. We're going to wrap it around it. And then we're going to take our piece of string. And we're going to tie it. Now this one here is going to be a nice portion of, of uh, filet mignon. Again on this tying, all we're going to do is just wrap it around a couple times. That keeps it from sliding apart on us. Pull it tight and finish our tie. So what we're going to do is the same thing with these. Take a nice piece of bacon, going to wrap it around, and since I like bacon I double over, I don't really Cut them off, and we're going to wrap this one with a string. Same thing, same approach. Have a beautiful filet mignon, bacon wrap filet mignon. Now a lot of people don't tie this on, they use a toothpick. I just don't care to do that. I like to use the uh, string. And it just seems to work a little bit better for me. Alright folks, there you have it. We have some beautiful fillets, a nice Chateaubriand, and a little bit of grind. And that's how I do a beef tenderloin. Happy cooking.